Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so it's time to get our far orbiting satellite into a actual stable orbit as opposed to what we got right now, which really isn't working out too well. Not to mention the orbit itself is like a 60 it was like a 60 day orbit or something crazy like that. So it, it's obviously a lot different now, but it was it was pretty bad. That's, that's all I can say is everything was kind of not really set up very well. Now I'm just really hoping we don't run out of actual fuel as opposed to using the xenon because I don't want to waste six hours trying to get this thing into a stable orbit. But hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I, I'm I'm just really hoping that everything kind of just comes together very nicely, like everything has been, which. I, I, I think I keep mentioning mentioning this, but it's all come together so well. I, I just really expected some kind of an issue, some kind of problem to arise that otherwise I did not foresee. And it just, everything is perfect. Absolutely freaking perfect. Which I'm pretty sure some of you might be a little bit jelly, but I, I, I do have to apologize. I, I really did not think that it was going to go this well but yeah I, I i don't know why i would apologize about that but yeah okay so let's let's just get this guy up here and see what we can get um it, this is gonna come relatively close to leaving the influence of duna so i i really don't want to oh god there we go really don't want to leave the influence of Duna. I, I just want it to be a very far orbit, and that will be a very, very far orbit. I'm going to do one more correction on the other side, and I'm just going to leave it like that. I, I really don't want to um, spend an insane amount of time, because this is almost taking an entire... Or it's taking almost 40 days to get from one side of the orbit to the other, which is is pretty bad compared to uh, Kerbin, which we were actually, I think the orbit on Kerbin's far orbit satellite isn't anything even relatively close to that. I think it's, I think it's only about maybe like a day and a half or so, two day, or not, wait, no, I think it is about, I don't know, something like four or five days or so. I, I, I honestly can't remember anymore, but let's see let's just get this thing set up and I do gotta say I love the burns out here because it's like one one meter a second will make that big of an inclination difference which is just absolutely amazing so we don't really need to be on the money trying to do this shouldn't really be that much of an issue but I think we're gonna end up having to dislocates our main tank here and start using the ion engines though because it the decouple force is enough to probably push us uh, interplanetary which is not what we're really looking for with this so let's see there we go perfect absolutely freaking perfect so we'll set up a node here. We'll see how much it's going to take. Probably going to be really nothing. Yeah, that, that is pretty much nothing. So yeah, what, what I will do is I think we'll get lined up. And I'm actually going to use the decouple force to see if that will be more than enough. It probably will be, which is going to be kind of an issue. Actually, no, we don't even have to worry about decouple force. I thought there was a decoupler here. This is docking ports. You can see my makeshift fairing that I made. It was kind of, it's like a million freaking struts, but it looks nice. That's all I can say. It looks pretty good. So we'll knock this out to our final altitude, so to speak, and then afterwards we will figure out there what we're going to do Let's bring this out a little bit closer I really wonder what 
Duna looks like from this altitude. It's probably just a little speck. So we will get rid of... Actually, you know, I'll keep that there just in case. So let's see. That's 23 million. All right. Yeah, we got to turn off the time warp here, and then we can do our burn. Yep, 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 yep. How many times have it happened to me already? I, I really don't know where I am in time warp and I start pushing the, uh, you know, trying to turn on the engines or something and then all of a sudden I'm just, yeah, it, it just, they won't turn on. And I'm like, oh, okay, wait, wait, what's going on here? Did I uh, destroy something? And no, it's just my stupidity. So let's, let's just get these panels open and decouple this guy we will see you later like normal um let's see pointing down and there we go i think that engine is still on on that guy but whatever that works that definitely definitely works so we'll get these panels out and that way we don't run out of power. Although we do have a fairly decent amount of electric charge, I am still, you know, I, I really would not like to run out of power. So where are these ion engines? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So we will be doing our burns backwards from now on. That's, uh, I think I forgot about that. So that looks crazy oh my god that looks crazy can we switch over yeah we can just disable this and debris there we go yeah I got a little bit died up with that thing but it was I ended up just deleting it it is gone now beautiful goodbye so there let's let's get this guy now into our final orbit um, well, I'm trying to figure out, because the one thing I ended up doing is I thought I ended up putting on the actual um, control, the, the, the uh, command module backwards. That way I can actually have some kind of control over this thing, but I guess I didn't or something. I, I don't know exactly what it, what happened, but... This is going to be a little bit of an issue because I think we're going to have to control it backwards now, which I don't know how well is going to, if that's even going to work very well. So, it, where is Duna? Yeah, Duna's just a speck along with Ike. Look at it. It's just a little, I think that's about the size of Minmus once you're next to the moon around Kerbin. That's roughly the size I would say I, I think maybe a little bit smaller if not I, I don't know but Duna's looking tiny Duna is like the moon from uh, Minmus so yeah it, it, that, that is pretty small pretty far out there so this this orbit is relatively stable as it is right now I mean that there really isn't very much we could do to it but I'm going to try and I think I think if we do a burn here, this thing is not wanting to stay in, in its spot either, which is driving me nuts. It's rocking around. I don't think we have enough SAS on this. Could potentially be the problem. There we go. So this should be bringing us... Oh, I should activate those. Activate engine. There we go. I don't know what's going on with these things. They're uh, they're not doing what I want them to do. Yeah, there we go. So this should be forty-seven. Yeah, this should be bringing. Oh wow, there we go. So we w didn't really have very much further to go. I, you know, honestly, when you're doing this too, the last one I set up, which was in orbit around Kerbin, it just takes an insane amount of time to actually achieve the proper orbit that you're looking for. 
it causes a lot of problems too because sometimes these things will just drift and actually go out of orbit even though it looks like it still is in orbit around the planet it, it just doesn't want to be in orbit I, I don't know it, it is absolutely crazy but yeah so let, let's get these all of this in its beauty even though it's moving and driving me crazy there we go hey stop it there we go stop moving not enough SAS that's all I can say um let's see come on extend where's the extend there we go whoa whoa hey come on there we go I'm sure you guys can hear me clicking my mouse and every single time it's just it's getting just out of reach there we go come on hey there we go. hey come on see when you zoom in further away then you can actually click on it but when you're farther away or well, you can't really click on a tiny little point like that so it, it causes issues either way causes issues we got every single detector and everything you can dream of on here the only thing I think we don't have is the newer science stuff which let's see what the temperature is it's pretty pretty freaking cold out here that, that, that is that, that is the consensus we've come to pretty freaking cold but you can see the um, accelerometer is down to just looks like it's that it's not even getting higher than four so that is just crazy I, I on the one in orbit around Kerbin I believe at least had like somewhat of a reading where you could actually see something this is obviously way too f the gravitoli detector is w way too far from the object that is a little bit too far I guess but yeah <laughs> we're at 47 million meters or that would be 47 what is that 47 uh, kilometers no, no yeah no no that's not 47 kilometers that's that would be 47 yeah I, I would have to look that up I, I I'm very bad when it comes to converting kilometers and meters obviously I'm an American I, I really feel bad about this but you know you I hope you guys still love me so that I think that would be um, that would be uh, 47,000 kilometers, I believe. Yeah, I am not 100% certain on that one. But, yeah, I, I suck at that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so everything's looking pretty good, guys. So if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.